Hello, digital card fighters. This is Kyle D, better known as Ride My Avatar, bringing you more card fight Vanguard Zero news. And we also got the TCG. So we're going to have half zero, half TCG. So without further ado, let's get on to it, right, boys? So first off, we have um, New Gold Paladins, which is Archer of Cloud Cur Cover Biscuit. Biscuit. I really doubt that should be Biscuit, but it might be Bascot. So if I mess that up, please shout at me at the bottom of the comments. So Counter Blast, Soul Blast, look at the three cards from the top of your deck. Call one from among them to rear and put the rest at the bottom of your deck in any order. So Knight of Early Dawn Cole, when rolled upon, draw a card. Then it's the no our starter. It's our baby boy for Gold Paladins, you know. Can't have a deck without our baby boy. And then he's Biscott is a grade one. Next, we also got Black Arcaris Yuffel. Yuffel? Chell? I'm not good with the angel names. Angels really struggle with me, and I'm so sorry for that. So, when placed, Counter Blast. And. This unit gets plus 3,000 until the end of the turn. Return a card from your damage zone to your hand. So you get to sift through it. And if you do, deal one damage to your vanguard. This ability can only be used by this card's name with the same card name once per turn. Perform a damage check. It is a grade two, guys. She is probably the best thing we got for um, Angel Feathers in a long time. Without... Even just saying it, the Angel Feathers needed this card. <laughs> be able to do their rescue checks and having Gabrielle be the new boss. I think this is the right direction Angel Feathers needed. I kid you not, we are really solid for this. So next, we have to go over the new information from Zero. So our new set, it contains Fortuna, Dauntless, with sealed dragons sweeper command dragon and then we also get the aqua force so we get narakami kagero aqua force and genesis so without further ado let's go over them so goddess of, go of good luck fortuna so limit break when your drive check reveals a card without a trigger soul blast three to add that card to your hand perform an additional drive check so multiple drive checks really do help and so Vanguard, when your drive check reveals a trigger, if it is the second one of this turn, perform an additional drive check. So that makes it really good. So you can possibly get a twin drive, um, triple drive, but that's about as high as you'll go. Um, Soul Blast 3 to get plus 5,000 until the end of turn. Definitely good. I think this is a little bit of what Genesis need to get that little bump up they needed, but we'll have to wait and see. Next is your Break Ride, Dauntless Driver Dragon. So limb break four, when a road upon until the end of your turn, your Vanguard gets plus 1,000 in the following ability. Once per turn, at the end of the battle, this unit attack, counter blast, discard three cards from your hand to stand it up, and draw two cards. So you definitely need to draw two cards, which is good because this compensates for filtering and everything like that, because... That's just how this works. And during your turn, if you have more rear guards than your opponent, this unit gets plus 3,000. So if you break right on top of him a couple times, it doesn't hurt. Next is Hellfire Seal Dragon Blockade Inverno. And this card will probably see zero to nothing play. Let me break four. If your soul has two or more Seal Dragons in it, counter blast to get 1,000 until the end of turn and retire all your opponent's grade two rear guards. If three or more were retired, um, yeah, if three or more were retired, oh yeah, I forget, Seal Dragons retire and then calls a grade two out, so, yeah, I mean, I think this might be a viable strategy because we're going to be taking out units and calling them to replace, if I remember Seal Dragons doing that, so I'll draw a card, cross ride is Seal Dragon Blockade, I don't I think this is good for Limit Break to clear out, but being two Counter Blasts really hurts it. Next, we have Eradicator Sweeper Command Dragon. So Limit Break 
4 when your opponent's rear guard is retired. Buy a card effect, counter blast 2, soul blast 2 to draw a card, retire one of your opponent's rear guards, and get plus 5,000 until the end of turn. When placed, put an eradicator rear guard into your soul to retire one of your opponent's rear guards. Sweeper command looks nasty. I don't think they updated him in any way, shape, form. Um, out of saying that, that's pretty good. Next, we have Blue Flight Dragon, Transcore Dragon. So, when rode upon until the end of the turn, your Vanguard gets 1,000 in following ability. When this unit attacks a Vanguard, your opponent discards a random non Sentinel card from their hand. Okay, so they're trying to make it so they don't get killed. If they did not discard, this unit gets a crit. So, that kind of gives you hints if they have Sentinels in their hand. So, and he gets a crit until the end of battle. Your opponent's Sentinels does not activate. So, why does it matter if they have the Sentinel or not? Just leave it in there and just discard the Sentinel. Okay. And when this unit attacks the Vanguard, it gets plus 3,000 until the end of battle. And then we also got to see that we're getting sleeves for last card Revan and Goddess of Fortuna. And then your card will be leggy um pacifica that you know we're gonna have the police break in if you have this card um without that guys please like comment and subscribe smash that thumbs up button for if you really like this kind of content it lets me know lets the world know so without further ado i'll catch you in the next one peace